Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I'm back with another video. So I wanted to quickly share a reading with you guys today about reaching out to the masculine during the times where you're really feeling his energy very strongly. The reason I wanted to share this video is because I've been getting insights about 2020 being a time of bringing the twin flames together in physical union. We came here to use the five senses paired with our intuitive abilities as well. And that's not to be forgotten. Many of you are accidentally stumbling upon the term twin flame. You have the power and autonomy to create. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into, should I reach out to my masculine or not? I have personally reached out to my twin flame masculine many, many times. And what I have learned is the fear of reaching out has to do with whether or not you've overcome rejection and abandonment because that's what I felt every single time and that's why I kept having to go through these cycles with him over and over and over again. It was because I was failing to pay attention to the intuitive connection and love connection between us. Instead, I was paying attention to society's expectations of me as a woman and him as a man. We were taking turns waiting each other out and playing the game of chess. There are no games in love. There is only truth and authenticity. And that's what I want to share with you guys. It's up to you whether or not you want to reach out to your masculine. You don't need to tune in to anybody else's opinion other than your heart's. Your heart is your compass. Each and every move you make towards your counterpart is a step forward, not backwards. I can tell you every time that I have reached out to my masculine and I haven't gotten a response, there has been those moments where he has authentically let me know that those were the times that he needed me the most. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and use the Tarot of Sexual Magic to send out a few extra messages out there. May I just say how much I love this deck? I love this deck. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, <clears throat> so I saw the death card fly out. So we're putting a death to what no longer serves us in terms of how we act towards our counterpart, whether we're male or female or the same genders. Twin flame embodiment is all about energy and learning that the body is just this beautiful vehicle. And here's the fool going on this new awareness, this new journey towards love, towards their passion. You know, for me, the fool card represents this newfound freedom within the twin flame journey, leaving behind all of the dark stuff, all of the negative stuff that has affected us, all of the really lower energies like the karmic situations and the cheating and the deceiving and the illusions and the black magic and the spell work, really leaving that stuff behind and charging forward in a mature way that really seizes the day. When I see the fool, I see that someone taking all of their belongings with them, and it's not a lot because we don't really need a lot to start over in life. We just need our ambitions, our belief in something greater that is out there protecting and guiding us. And all it takes is tapping into that and asking because we do have free will, guys. I have the three of uh, pentacles coming up here, which talks about a lot of creativity when it comes to this love. Maneuvering, being the MacGyver here, and doing what you need to do to bring this into the physical world, even if it means leaving a lot of the familiar world you knew behind. Because I think at this point, both of the twins know and have the confidence to believe in themselves as creators. Life becomes easier when we live in love. And when we experience the twin flame love, the ultimate love, that is about attainment of passion that we've worked so hard for. We've advanced through many of the 
doubtful, fearful parts of this journey that has made us make some moves here that <laughs> really made this journey unnecessarily hard. It's really about the love that you feel for another person, guys, and breaking down the walls within you, going to those places that you've been cut, and really stitching yourself back up, having the gumption to do that. And you've all got it within you. You all know what this person means to you. Time and time again, it's been shown to you despite what any reader on YouTube has said. You've received your own personal signs of what it means to bring this together. I love this card too because I feel like both of them are extremely vulnerable here in this moment. I love this card too because I feel like both I love of that them she's are sitting extremely on vulnerable lap. here in this moment. They're both clothed accepting each other very as they are. bare it's almost like the yeah. fool put on the really clothes asking. i've said this before i think these two cards have actually appeared in my past readings and what i've said is the fool has taken the clothes out of his sack and put it on and is now on this new journey following my heart letting my heart lead for once type of energy he's quite in love with the feminine because he's able to be himself and for many of the masculines, I think that for a long time, being themselves also meant that they had to put up these like protective walls at the same time. So it was like a double-edged sword. Being with other partners meant that they actually really couldn't be themselves because when they did, they would get taken advantage of or some of their weaknesses were used against them in order to control them. Especially if some of the masculines have dealt with like jealousy and they're, they tend to be very controlling or possessive or they've had a pattern of having their feelings invalidated, then yeah, they can seem like a caged animal at times. If the feminine comes along and it seems too good to be true, yeah, they will definitely act in ways that are extremely out of character. But again, with the feminines putting a death to any type of defensive energy as well, because she is really doing a lot of soul searching that's not only bringing the connection together, but is making her live a lot of a healthier aspect of herself. And I think that's why she continues to nurture this connection between them is because of the benefits that are being brought to her world, her environment. It's allowing her to put herself into a space where she can bring joy to the lives of other people and she's certainly leading the way here. Her masculine is just watching in awe and completely getting inspired. I hope this reading finds you all well. Take care. Again, follow your gut, dive in, and know that you're safe. It's your journey. I love you guys and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.